Alrighty folks, my name is Tony and these are my hands. Today we're going to do chicken burritos, homemade. A little of my own mix. We're going to use half strength taco seasoning. Actually I'm going to get that started right now because I'm a big fan of the pre-soak. So it's half strength, but you can eye it up. It's okay. I won't kill you. Get that in there. Get that pre-soaking. We're going to use some chive. Dash of oregano. I'm a big fan of the white pepper. But you got to do this in small doses. But I'm going to add a lot of the black uh, pepper melange, which has all that, plus a little bit of this. Believe it or not, this is a green pepper, perfectly ripened red. Got a little corn ready to go. Freshly diced up mushrooms. Chicken, which I'm going to cut up in a minute. See, this is soaking up nice. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, we're going to let that stew, set that there, set these spices off to the side, and we'll get you started here. Alright, woohoo, not my slightly disorganized, organized station. Alright, put that off to the side, we're going to add the butter, turn on the heat, right to front. Always good to say it out loud, make sure you stay on your toes. Put this chicken over here. Get that corn ready. Oop, actually, I'm going to put the butter in there too. Get that ready. Once that's melted, we'll put the corn in. We're going to get this butter going. Left rear. Ooh. Oh, I almost forgot. Black garlic. This stuff is amazing. Look it up. Now I'm going to use four cloves. And they may look a little scary. Maybe they are. Look at that. Love right there, man. Here, let me put that in. Okay, I'll put those in now. Let those cook up a little bit. The chicken. Mm-mm. House is smelling good already. And that's just because it's butter and garlic. That beautiful gold. Beautiful. Put that off to the side. Let that start. Alright, looking good. Get that heat ready. I'm going to brown my mushrooms a little bit. Get those started. Then I'll put the chicken in. But I can get this ready to be cut up into strips. As soon as I pay attention more to the corn here. Always keep an eye on everything you're doing while you're cooking. Makes a big difference. You definitely learn multitasking. It's pretty important. Alright, keep all that there. These are going to be pretty awesome. Okay, let's get rid of that. Alright. No. Listen to that. Alright. Well, that corn is going. We're going to break out the pepper. Get a nice little zing. I might even add some red bell pepper seeds to the to the corn. Give me that extra big bite. Just a dash of oregano. Really not too much. Because you'll be getting that in your chicken shortly. Oh yeah. Kind of brown up real nice. Whenever you have stuff next to the stove, always keep an eye on the temperature. Let's get the chicken cut. Let's go. Black garlic casing. Black garlic is yummy. The casing is not. So I got to cut this kind of quick. 
So I did not turn the heat down on my mushrooms. Trying to get ahead of the game, but I might fall behind. Because everything has its time. But I'm dedicated to cutting this one piece of chicken. And do a quick wash rinse on the hands. And my clean hands, stir that up. Oh yeah. Oh man. This is us like that now. Turn down the heat. So. Round some of this up. I almost got my clean hand dirty. So close. I could have put my peppers in too to brown them. Oh, this one's slightly softened. But mushrooms, those are pretty awesome when they got that nice bit of char. Make sure you did turn down the heat on your chicken though to a medium high. The corn is going to need a stir, but you want that kind of mild burn like you'd get from a fire pit if you were cooking your corn in the fire like the old days. Let me get rid of this. Is this a stir? Oh yeah. Get off to the side. Mmm. Look at that. Love right there. Love, I tell ya. Fix all that, make it look pretty in a little bit. We're getting that started. Alright. Finally washing them hands. I'm glad. I'm glad we got the hand foam soap thing right next to the sink here. And we're only like two feet away. Add your peppers. Any other spices, now would be a good time. Quick for the hand wash. Oh yeah. Wish you could smell that because that's just pretty awesome. I'm going to turn the heat down to low or actually off. Even better than low. Put my cloth in here. Clean that up real quick. Now if you got a gas stove, you got to be careful when you're using your cloth. It's real easy to set on fire. Now I'm dedicating this one to the raw meat. That one's going right here. I definitely didn't get to brown all my chicken. That's okay. But this is going to turn out awesome. So let that cook in its own juices for a little bit. Well, yeah, if you take a look now, you can already see that the corn is darkened up a bit on the bottom. And that's, that's exactly what you want. So this is going to taste awesome big flavor bomb later coming now make sure you don't use that for anything else and meanwhile back at the seasoning i wish i could turn the glass sideways so you could see it but this is soaking in real nice everything's getting fluffy in there and yes i just used the word fluffy oh fluff Soon, coming to a video near you, I'll show you how to make a fluff and peanut butter sandwich if you're not allergic to peanut butter. Chive. Dash more oregano to taste. You don't need a lot. As you can see, I didn't really put a lot in there. Now the white pepper. This goes a long way. So this you want to use sparingly. Yeah. And I love pepper, but that good potent stuff 
And speaking of my pepper medley, mmm, beautiful sound. Thoroughly stir that if you can real quick. That black garlic is just going to be awesome. Mm. All right, folks, hold that thought. Let this cook for about two more minutes, and I'll be right back. Alrighty folks, I was hoping you'd still be paying attention to your food, but that was a quick two minutes. This is coming along awesome. I walked away for a second, got to breathe some other room air, came back and smelled the kitchen. I was like, yeah, you are cooking love right now. And I want you to love cooking because it's so important in your life. You live to live. But you also need fuel and energy to eat to live. All right, now I got the t taco seasoning right here, or burrito seasoning, whatever you choose to use. But whatever you do, pre-soak it first, okay? So I'm gonna pour this on now. You see how everything? See how everything filled up with water, really nice and thick. A lot of good taste in there. Mmm, flavor. You and your taste buds will fall in love again. Alright. Make sure that heat stays on medium high. Stir this in a little bit. Being careful not to splatter. As I say that, I had quite the potential there like to have at least one or two clean shirts in my shirt drawer or shirt closet shirt basket or go with like Tommy Boy my garbage bag full of shirts we miss you Tommy Boy alright hmm oh man black garlic oh probably shouldn't have done that oh hopefully the chicken was cooked enough I won't get sick from that but this you can let it stay like that I love pepper so much. Actually, I'm going to give it the mild dose of the white pepper. Not, a, not everybody likes white pepper. So like I said, use it sparingly. Okay? But you do what's best for you. You and I, we, we just met. So I can't tell you what's good for you. But this, this is pretty awesome, okay? And I was still making sure I was using the one I did for the veggies only. No raw vet, no raw meat or anything with that. Now with this, now that it's all back up to a boil, and turn it down to low, or a simmer, or your equivalent setting thereof, henceforth and all that other good stuff. I decree, turn your heat down. All right. So when you come back to this, because you're going to cover this and, and cook this down for about maybe 10 more minutes on low, and it's just going to be truly awesome. But I wanted you to get a close-up view of it first. Here's the lid. Raw veggies. I can put this away and this away. All your raw meat tools are off the, off the stove. So now... It's only clean cooking goodness. Mmm. I can't wait to dig in. I really can't. And uh, I guess that's it, folks. I will see you in now eight and a half minutes. Dun dun dun. All right, it's been actually ten minutes later. Holy cow! Lost track of time. But this this looks awesome. So I'm going to keep the cover off on that. Get 
give it a quick stir. You know it's all cooked, so it's okay to have one tool for this now. Oh yeah. Now you can use hot sauce, sour cream, whatever, some of your chicken, burrito, taste buds require, you can, you can do that. And I highly recommend it. My wife, her craving is yellow number five. So she gets it because she wants it. Mmm. Yeah. It's time to use it. Knock out all those pesky veggies. Nothing but the finest meat and corn for my lady. Get her a little bowl for a corn. And there you go, a meal suitable for you. But this one's going to my wife, here you go. You're welcome. It's nice she said thanks. There's still love in the relationship. All right, here, shut the heat off on that. Heat's been off on the corn. I'm gonna add probably more cheese than I need. But as long as my doctor don't watch this, we're good. No offense if you happen to be a doctor who's watching this, but not my doctor. Alright. Eat all my veggies off to the side. Oh man. Look at that. Bring your food closer, it's okay. Dope. Mm. All toasty on my fingers. I guess I can toss you the peppers in there. They're fitting in there pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Remember folks. Sides, bottom, hold that there, flip, flip again. Now this time, same speed, side, side, hold, flip, squeeze gently. Some people don't, or some foods don't like the hard squeeze. I'm not picky about my corn, so I'm just going to put that off to the side. Mmm, every last drop of this. Now my bowl of vegetable rub with black garlic. Oh yeah. No chicken. Now this right here, 
actually it's just an awesome meal i got three of the big black cloves of garlic i left the one in there for the rest of the chicken so i can flavor that up later but this is just going to be truly awesome so here you go folks probably more than i should have taken but it's my only meal today and i'm going to enjoy every bite of it i'll come back in a little bit and let you know how it was enjoy folks remember you're worth it Alrighty, right i'm gonna take a chance that this picture is actually working out here because the enable preview for the gopro 9 needs a wi-fi connection to connect and may or may not be working at this time so if it's not working i'm talking to myself but if it is i got my container i got my leftovers i got two empty plates and bowls if it wasn't for all the belching from all the good food there's no way i would have been able to finish this but man, that was really good. I ate one and a half burritos. And then... Burp, burp, burp. Burp, 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 burp. I was like, oh, room. So yeah, I was so happy I was able to finish it. I did add a little sour cream to mine. No hot sauce needed. But doesn't hurt. Or you could use the red bell pepper seeds. This turned out really, really awesome. The wife said it was great. I think she was as happy I didn't include any mushrooms or black garlic or any of these peppers in her burrito by accident. So if that qualifies as great, that works for me. Alright. Look at that folks. When this cools down, it's going to be so awesome we can put it in the fridge. But this is going to taste amazing tomorrow. Because it tasted pretty sweet today, but tomorrow after another 24 hours, just so awesome so after this cools down you can put the cover on it because you don't want extra condensation it's a thing look it up for the story for another day but i hope you enjoyed folks leave a comment below like share subscribe hit that notification bell tell a friend invite a friend even better invite a friend see if you had one or two friends that came over or the neighbor who's always mooching cigarettes off you you know give them a little food too all right take care peace